Welcome vampires. Today we're going to be hunting the winged whore and for us to reach the winged whore we have to kill night marshal sticks. That way we can get our bat form and fly up to this location that I'm taking you to. You also need to build the eye of the twilight and you'll find this boss on the right side of frame bade woods just below the snowy area. I do suggest taking this boss on first out of the three endgame bosses just because it's kind of a little e bit easier fight. I also like to rock with rogue blood in this fight just because I could be moving faster in this fight you need to be moving. Alright let's dive in the fight. So his first move as you see is it's, it's a charge move so you, you just gotta step to the side of that and avoid it. It's pretty wide so I do suggest keeping a dodge handy to avoid it. Another thing I would suggest is this is kind of a long range fight, so you're best off with a crossbow and just long range abilities and trying to keep your distance from the boss. When you see this boss just walking towards you, just unload on him. But if he turns around and he'll do all those ice blasts, you need to avoid those because they will slow you down and take, you'll take major damage from it. And so one of his next abilities is he will fly up in the air and he will blast a chaos fire on the ground. And what you kind of want to do at this stage is let him blast it on the ground in areas that there is fires. That way you have like safe haven zones. So right now I'm basically just trying to keep the fires in the bottom or on the side right there. And then I know I have this big open area on the right. The next move you're going to see the flying cat do is he's going to fly in the air and the ground's going to get lit up with circles and you got to avoid those because they're going to be chaos bombs dropping. And then you got to get out of the middle because he slams down in the middle and if you take that hit it's a pretty hard hit so you want to avoid that. And once again another circle on the ground, this time it's ice, you want to avoid it too. And I'm going to go in this back corner because he's going to light the ground again and that way the whole map isn't lit up. So yeah, it looks nasty right now, but I'm just going to get out of this zone and I'll have some safe walking area. Alright, when he steps back he will blast a bunch of fireballs and there's two ways you could avoid this is either go to his side or just run straight back. Because they kind of move slow, so you could actually... Uh, they, they will drop before they hit you if you just go straight back. These ice explosions usually explode twice, so you gotta watch out from those. Just try to keep your distance when he's doing that. Now all you gotta do is rinse and repeat all the things I showed you what to do. So this part I just gotta run further back because I don't have option going to the side. And I'm gonna blast him and he's gonna charge me, so I'm going to the side again. And I'm staying on fire, so I'm getting out of this area. It's pretty Loaded. He's in the air though again, so he's about to drop bombs. So I'm gonna go in this chaos area just so he drops it where the others are. And weirdly to say, this area seems like it's the safest right now. You'll also see a big circle on the ground light up in white, and you just need to evade that as fast as you can because it will be an ice explosion. That does incredible damage to you. Now that we're in late stage, the boss will also stand up and wave its wings and push fireballs in a row. And you do not want to be in front of that one. You want to evade to the side. And this one, you can run further back. And we're going to dodge the wing core. Heal up a little bit. As you see, this fight would be a little messy. You know, uh, just fighting melee and stuff like that. That's why I highly suggest a crossbow or to be doing a lot of spell damage or both. Also, when you get to these end game fights, you, you basically want to try to get fully geared for it if you can. Um, at least probably like 78 plus just because you'll be ta taking so much damage and it'll be hard to survive these fights. And so the abilities I'm using for this fight is one is purgatory, a way I could heal myself consistently while he's like in the air. I'm also using Chaos Folly, weirdly to say, he's doing Chaos Falls to me, but I'm doing the back to him, and he's actually taking a lot of damage from it, so I do highly suggest it. And I'm also doing Heart Strike, just an emergency get out of there, it, it also gives me a backup heal. And P.S. No winged real cats were harmed in this video. And if you found this boss guide helpful or useful, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe.
I appreciate it. And remember, when he's just walking at you, definitely want to unload on him. And when he does that wing thing, you literally just got to step aside. It's another opportunity to unload on him. Guess you got to dodge. Oh, looks like he went in the air right before I killed him. He would do that. Alright, he landed now. He's test. Oh, looks like he knocked me in the air. Oh, but I got him. Sweet. Now it's time to drink some wing core blood. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Yum. Oh, by the way, when you kill the wing tour, you're going to get soul shards, and you're not going to be able to transfer forms and stuff like that. So if you're in a PvP server or whatever, safe travels back home. Anyhow, have a good one. Stay awesome. Bye.